So today we're going to be talking about some sensitive topics. To the best of my knowledge, many of which have not been spoken about on YouTube. So let's go into our first retirement mistake while living in the Philippines. Not obtaining the relevant medical insurance. With medical insurance, even though in the Philippines medical expenses can be much cheaper than in other countries, insurance is always recommended. Medical insurance in the UK, US, Australia, Canada and other countries can sometimes be expensive. However, the good news is, is that in the Philippines, medical insurance can be purchased at a very affordable affordable rate. One benefit of obtaining local insurance is that it's often more easier if you need to claim. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a full video talking about the health insurance options for foreigners who are living in the Philippines. Letting anger get the best of you. Anger is a very interesting emotion and it tends to mask other emotions. For example, while living in the Philippines, you may see a foreigner who is out of his comfort zone and perhaps in an area he's never been to before. In this scenario, he may feel a sense of anger due to the fear of the unknown or any other secondary emotion that the anger may be hiding. Unfortunately, through my years of living in the Philippines, I have seen several retirees becoming angry because they did not get their own way. Filipinos are incredibly helpful and sometimes this can be taken for granted. However, I don't need to talk about this one a lot because my subscribers are not like this. But if you know somebody like this, it is best that they learn to channel their anger and disappointment more healthily. Talking dirty to women. We've all been here from time to time, let's be honest, we're all human, we all have natural urges. But as a single gentleman living in the Philippines, the adult talk will not work well if you are looking for a high class woman. There are countless beautiful and intelligent high class Filipinas. And whether we admit it or not, it is an advantage of living in the Philippines but those high-class women tend to end up with high-class men. A Filipina friend of mine gets hundreds of messages a day on dating websites such as Pina Love. This is a very popular dating website in the Philippines and I've added some more information in the description below. But you guys should see the messages she gets, I mean it's pretty intense. The thing is, if you are a foreigner, you are already different. And if you want to meet a decent woman, the best method is just to be who you really are. In summary, most Filipino women won't respond well to dirty talk. And the reality is that most of these women get this conversation nearly every day. Not investing at all. As I have to say, this is not financial advice. And it's always funny to me when YouTubers say this, this is not financial advice, then they go ahead and give financial advice. Well, what I'm trying to say is at this point, this is something that I would do personally and it's in my own opinion. The Philippines in general has had a lot of development over the years and thus investing a little bit of spare cash each month may be a wise idea as certain indicators show that the Philippines has a very bright future. Running out of money. Running out of money as a foreign retiree in the Philippines is a common worry. Unfortunately, this worry can sometimes become a reality but it can be avoided through careful budgeting and tactical strategy. Government and private retirement funds work differently in certain countries, but let's use the example of a regular pension where you receive money each month. In this scenario, saving 20% of your income would be fantastic. Still, naturally, you will have to calculate the right percentage for your lifestyle. If you can save 20% and you have $1,000 a month from your pension, you will be able to save $2,400 annually. Or you can think about it like this, every five months you will save $1,000, which is a whole month of living expenses. But as mentioned, you will need to calculate the right percentage for your lifestyle. Getting involved in a scam. Scams in the Philippines are as common as bread and butter. Scammers don't just target foreigners. However, some scams are more common to foreigners in the Philippines. Common scams 
scams include taxi scams, the romance scam, and investment scams. Think about all your proud achievements in life. Finding the right partner, building your retirement fund, or investing in the right industry when you was younger. These things took your time and your effort. So as the old saying goes, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Not being at peace. This is your retirement. Take a moment to think about the milestone and the amazing opportunity that you have to live in a different country and be financially free. Even though you may wish to be a little bit younger or have a little bit more money, you are living the dream that millions of people wish they could live. Retiring in the Philippines is not going to be perfect. There will always be challenges and requirements. This sometimes takes careful consideration and planning, but it should never rob you of your joy. So if you have an opportunity to sing karaoke in a bar, go for it. If you are invited to go to the mountain at 5am to see the sunrise, then wake up early. Be at peace with who you are and don't regret a single day living in the Philippines.